Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these new, fairly new, Jimmy Dean Delights. This is the breakfast bowl. Uh, this is the farmhouse. I've had a bunch of these breakfast bowls, but the farmhouse one is the new one. It is eggs, potatoes, onions, green and red peppers, cheddar cheese, turkey sausage, and portobello mushrooms. I love every bit of that. There's nothing in there that I don't like. Looks pretty good. 300 calories per serving. We bought these at Meyer. They were 269, which is not too bad, I don't think. Um, seven ounces or 198 grams for the meal. And here's the calories. 300. Okay, I did say 300. Um, there's the other. Whatever information you want to pull out of that, you pull out of that. I don't, I don't know what you're looking for. So, microwave directions. I don't see oven. Mm, no. Don't see anything like that. So, it's just all off microwave. So, we're going to remove the carton, um, puncture the film. Microwave hot for two minutes. Put back the cover and film. I mean, put back the film and stir it. Replace the film and cook on high for another minute or until thoroughly cooked. So you get two minutes. Pull the cover back, stir it up, replace the film, and then another minute. So let's see what it looks like. Is that a full time? Yes, it does look full time. Yay! Convenience for one-handed opening. Okay, there it is. Pretty decent sized bowl. So I'm going to poke some holes in this, get in the microwave, and I'll be back when it comes out. All right, here it is out of the microwave, and um, it looks really good. It smells really good. It smells like uh, peppers and onions is what it smells like. Ooh, steam. Um, so anyway, I'm going to stir this up. It looks like it has quite a bit of uh, potatoes and eggs, some sausage and um, peppers and stuff like that in there, but mostly it seems like it's mostly potato. But I see quite a bit of sausage in there, too. So anyway, I'm going to let this cool off, and I'll be right back. Okay, it's had a little time to cool off. I didn't let it cool off for ages because it's eggs, but... Uh, but anyway, here's the bottom I'm going to take. It's got eggs, uh, mushrooms, sausage, cheese, peppers, everything, everything it's supposed to have. Sorry, let me get the box. Mm. It does have onions. Okay. That's why I was looking to see if it had onions in there too. Because I thought I saw some in there. Um, that's good. You really get, um, the peppers are probably the strongest flavor in there. Let me try a piece of sausage kind of by itself. Or as by itself as it can be, because there's it's kind of all mixed together. That sausage is not um, as flavorful as I was hoping it would be. It's 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 okay flavor-wise. It's just it doesn't have any spice to it at all. So if you don't like spicy food, you'd be fine with this. The, if if you can handle onions and peppers, that's all that really has in it, the spice-wise. The sausage itself is kind of bland. It really doesn't add a lot of um, a lot of flavor to it. It adds some texture to it, but it really doesn't have a lot of flavor. Um, the potatoes are cooked well, though. They're good and tender. They're almost maybe even a touch too soft. No, that one's fine. So much as it's been, must be kind of hit and miss. Yeah, see, that one's really, really mushy. So, anyway. Um, the eggs themselves are cooked well. Good texture there. I'm really getting mostly the um, the potatoes and the onions and peppers. That's the flavors I'm getting. Um, the egg flavor is not really super strong. The cheese flavor is not really strong. And unfortunately, the sausage isn't strong. And just because it's turkey, I know it's turkey sausage, but um, you can add spices to turkey sausage just as much as you could any other sausage. Not It's not the... It's not what makes the meat, it's the spices in the meat that, that adds that flavor, and this is missing those spices. So, I don't know if they were trying to go for a broader audience not and not put the spice in the sausage, but it's kind of bland, um, the sausages. The meal itself is okay. Literally, they could have left the sausage out completely and just had peppers, onions, and, and potatoes and eggs in here. And it would have been perfectly fine. You would have tasted the exact same thing. Um, and, and the cheese, of course. I was hoping it would bring back those memories of when I went camping with my parents when I was a teenager. And they would make um, peppers, peppers, eggs, um, peppers, onions, eggs, ham, and hash brown potatoes all kind of in one big skillet kind of stirred up. That's kind of what this, what I was hoping this would be. It's what it kind of smelled like, except it was missing that, that sausage smell. But... Um, it didn't quite live up to that. That the 
the homemade stuff is a thousand times better. If they had added spice to that sausage, I would have probably given this probably a four. As it is, it's kind of bland. And um, like I said, you get the peppers and onions, and that's about it. So I'm gonna give it a three. It's not bad, it's just kind of plain. So, um, so yeah, it's not like a two or a one. It's like, oh, I'd never eat those again, it's nasty. Um, it's just it's just average, it's just your regular old meal. I had better hopes for it, because uh, it sure sounded really, really good. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.